Hi, it's me, Garrett, from Port Monkeys, and today we are on the very regal, Regal Princess. And I'm standing on Plaza Deck 5 in the middle of the piazza. So we're going to take a quick look around the ship. Uh, let me show you all this first. So this is the main area of the ship. There's the restaurants and bars and casino and all sorts of things up here. But first, we're going to go midship and go down to Deck 4. There's the piazza, there's where we began. This is the midship elevators. And this is the midship stairs. So let's go down to deck four. We're now on Gala deck four. This is the elevators again. Down here, there's a couple things. Probably not working. ATM. Not sure what those are. This is, um, Back in the uh, guts of the ship. This is where we get on and off. Apparently they store um, towels here. And this is the medical center. And it has hours. And on the ship it's about 6.30. So, an emergency call 911. Remember, services in the medical center, you have to pay for. They're not free. Let's go back up. So we're back on Plaza Deck 5, midship. That means in the middle of the ship. And we're heading over to the port side, the left side of the ship. Port. And this is the symphony dining room. And this is the dining room on this cruise that we only ate at a couple times. The ship has three main dining rooms, Symphony, Allegro, and Concerto. So it goes all the way across, those are windows over there, windows over here, we're at sea, and it looks like it might be sunny today, it's rained quite a bit at the beginning of our cruise here. Let's go back out. So we're heading forward on the port side of deck five. To the dining room, they have games stacked up. So people play games in here during the day. This dining room is usually only open for dinner. Symphony dining room. The concerto dining room is upstairs, right above us. This is the chef's dinner. This is tonight's menu. Back at the midship elevators. They have these handy maps all over the place. And you can look at what's on any deck, see the important features of it. Little green dot is where we are right now. And we are going to go to the piazza. And that's just where we begin, right over there. So this is the Good Spirits at Sea Bar. And um, they do a couple of shows, mixology shows, nightly. Well, on sea days, probably all day. Of course, Good Spirits is a bar, and you've got to pay for it. Now, this is the International Cafe. This is where you can get your specialty coffees. You have to pay for them. And specialty cake which you have to pay for. And there it is. Now if you have the Prince's Premier package, it's free. And these are the guys that give you free food because International Cafe food is free, right? And believe it or not, this is all for show. They have the real food back there. International Cafe. Let's cross over to starboard, right side of the ship. So there's the piazza. And I crossed over to the Vines Wine Bar. See, it says it in, the, in that cage. 
so it's kind of hard to see. Now their vines is, you know, average in size. Um, and they have more than wine here, but it's called the Vines Wine Bar or the Vines Bar. There's outside. Um, I'm going to try to try out Cheryl Clare there. No offense to Cheryl. Um, they also have a little plate of food, a charcuterie plate or appetizer plate, which is included if you have the Princess Premier. This is gelato. And they have the specialty desserts here. And if you had to buy them separately, they're about $12, right? If you have Princess Premier, they're free. Princess Plus, you get two a day. Uh, we're five days into the cruise, I've had one. <laughs> but they also have gelato. Just a picture of it when there's something in there, but one scoop is $2, two scoops is $3, three scoops is $4. Now we're heading aft to the back of the ship. And this is Celebrations. And this is liquor, mostly, but off in the corner there, it's very hard to see, is, are things like toothbrushes um, and toothpaste and, and aspirin and so forth. So they have liquor and cigarettes. And more liquor and more cigarettes and chocolate. We also have the stuff you forgot to go right? Walked out at home, oh I have a headache, uh, got a sore throat, and other things. Those doors lead into the symphony dining room where we just were. And here's the internet cafe. And this ship has one, it's got uh, the, about 10 computers. I don't think they want you sitting at that one. It does have a printer here and a printer there and sanitizing wipes, right? So, you could log in to your account here. I think you can view the Princess website even if you don't have the Wi-Fi package. Of course, we have it. And that's it. Oh, that's not it. Let's go forward again. Here's the piazza where we started. It's also because of the great variety of nationalities of guests that we have on board. Gentlemen, I am the one in charge of the entire entertainment on board of our beautiful vessel. From the United Kingdom, our entertainment director, Mr. Martin Moss. We went back to the Vines Wine Bar, International Cafe over there, and we're walking forward. And this ship honors the cast of The Love Boat, the TV series. All right, there's that. Some little pictures of them. And then if I walk over here, there's a group portrait because they all got in this ship apparently. And they signed little pieces of paper. You might be interested in this. This right here is Sabatini's Italian Trattoria. Now it costs about $35 a person to eat in here and it's locked. Sabatini's. Over here is guest services. So remember the piazza is right there. This is guest services and normally there's a lot of people here. <laughs> and this is the shore excursion desk. And you can talk to people here that have hours. That's what's on that sign. Or you can book a tour on these iPads or book a tour on your own device. Now we're heading forward, remember. And this is the Lotus Spa. 
like I said, it's about 6.30, and so nothing really is open. But normally there's a half a dozen people here. Let's just walk a little bit in here. I don't think we'll disturb anybody because nobody's here. Waiting room. Decorations. And that leads to more of the spa. And it's big. Don't get me wrong. And this is temporarily closed. Got tile floor. Another long hallway. And then I'm at the end. Now, I say the end, but the front of the ship is right through there. Okay, we're at the very front now. Let's go out. Back to the desk in the spa, the opening of the spa. There's the guest services. This is the forward stairs and elevators. Forward. And you can see the sign says we're on Plaza Deck 5. We're going to go up to this 6. Yes, to Deck 6. Forward. And right here is one of the entrances to the Princess Theater. You can enter on both sides. And on deck six and seven. Let's go in. Here's the theater. I'm down on the floor, deck six, and looking uh, back at the theater, right? And this is, on a, on a production show night, this gets packed. The other night's not as packed. Now I just crossed from port to starboard. You see that? So, so let's go aft. And later we'll be up there. But you can see there's entrances on deck six and seven, starboard and port. We're on the starboard right side right now. So this is the uh, forward elevators and stairs again. And we're gonna go into the Princess Casino. And so it's it's open because it's morning. We've got a place to get your uh, bill if you want to check it out, your account. It's, got a, it's, it's a fairly nice casino. This is the smoking side. They've got blackjack and let it ride and roulette and all the games. They have an electric poker table right over here. It, that's all there is. And I don't know if they use it for anything other than uh, tournaments. I just don't know because I don't play on it. But it's got a lot of uh, slot machines right now, and a guy behind me winning, I guess. Um, newer. Some of them are fairly new. And it has this stairway. Now, I've not seen this on a Royal Class ship, and Regal Princess is a Royal Class ship. But we, this leads up into the shops. We're not going to go up that way because we've got other things to do. But we might walk on it later. Anyway, we're leaving the casino and we're back in the piazza now, right? And we are on the starboard side. And this is Alfredo's. Now, they're not open in the morning. It used to be around lunch and dinner. This place was packed, but now they started charging that money. And you should know, you don't have to pay $15 to eat here. A pizza is just $8.50. Of course, Slice is free up on deck 16. And they have the biggest Alfredos I've ever seen is where they cook it, and they've added this section. I'm not sure if this used to be something else, but here it is, right? And that brings us to the Concerto dining room. So we're walking aft on the starboard side of Fiesta deck six. And I'm just going to walk in here real quick. Hi. Just looking around. And you see, this is similar to the dining room downstairs. The carpet is different. But it goes all the way across. And this is the dining room that's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner on sea days. Thank you.
have it back 50% if you sail within 50 days. We're back to the midship stairs and elevators. And, and these elevators are for crew and officers. That's the deck six. These are the passenger elevators. Now we're right in the middle of the ship. So this is the piazza again. We started right down there in that circle. Over on the port side is the photo gallery and ocean front. Now ocean front is where you can get help with your medallion or buy accessories for your medallion. You know, if you don't like uh, what I'm doing with it, that's for a dog collar, but it works well. If you saw our uh, Island Princess ship tour, I stood right at this window and a wave crashed up over here because it was rough seas. And it's fairly rough out there now and dark clouds. Uh, <laughs> was that scary? <laughs> Evenings in the photo gallery, you know, pictures are on these things and they actually open up. So it's like a three-sided deal or whatever. So lots of pictures. If you take pictures, you can come here and look at them. You can also look at them on the app, on your phone or device. Uh, they also sell GoPro. GoPro, GoPro. But they're only up to the 11 and GoPro's up to 12 now, right? This is the captain's circle. So, you know, elite, platinum, whatever, if you need help. For future crews and loyalty, deck seven midship. So now we're on the other side of the piazza again, forward. When we first came, we came right through there, the casino. Walked out here and went around that way. But this is Club Six. And this is our first encounter with a Club Six. Uh, take Five is the one we remember from other ships. But there's the casino. And so, here's the lounge. Club Six. And they have a bar. It doesn't open for a couple hours. We play a lot of trivia in here. We had the Cruise Critic meet and greet in here. So here's Club Six. We just walked through there. Princess Theater. That's the way we went into the theater. This is Churchill's. It used to be a cigar lounge, but now it's just smoking lounge. And it's packed here in the morning. And you can get cigars. They have prices. I'm not sure where you uh, pay for them. And it smells like cigarettes. So, Churchill's, Princess Theater, Fiesta Deck 6. Time to go up to So seven. we're up on Promenade Deck 7 and you can see the ship time. Um, they have these signs up. But as we already know, there's nobody in there. I'm just going to briefly go in here. So this is deck seven in the theater. So they've got stairs leading down. Um, I just want to show you one thing that I don't know where you like to sit. Uh, on production shows, they have reserve seating for people with a premier package. But these seats right here, these seats are higher than the other seats as far as looking over somebody's head. I like to sit here where I don't have a head in my way because it like it like you're going to see in this video in a few seconds I give you a sample of the shows I saw and it's hard if there's somebody's head in your way so, so we're in the theater it's the final production show of the cruise and it's it's over half an hour before showtime and you see the good seats are already all taken almost so people come early to get these seats 
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Princess Theatre for Showtime. Please welcome to the stage your cruise director, Alexandra Ambriano. to say welcome aboard the Regal Princess. My favorite thing to do when I travel is to watch couples argue in public. <laughs> and I've only heard one, one, deck eight in their cabin. I heard it walking past. Oh, 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 oh. I really want to learn how to speak Spanish. Still, it's a real good bet. The best is yet to come. We are on the port side, deck seven. The front of the ship is right through there. And we're gonna head out and down. Aft. This is theater. Now this is one of the access points to lead outside, but it's got a deck close sign on it. But we will get outside, probably not today though, but in this video. So uh, the Regal Princess, there's a walkway here and the shops begin here. Now, they're not open till I don't know, 8, 9, 10. I mean, on sea days, they're going to be open early rather than in port, they're closed. This is Limelight. And that's Calypso Cove. So let's look inside Calypso Cove. So they have snacks. Oh, they're tax-free snacks. That's $14 for jelly bellies. Two for ten. Can of Pringles will set you back. I don't know. Ah, five dollars. Some clothes. 
Stanley Bears. Towels? Sunglasses? Water bottles? Ship models? And a lot of clothes. Uh, this one is, uh, she purchased three. So that's Calypso Cove for second. you. And here's the stairway down into the uh, casino. And this is the art gallery. The art gallery. And I've noticed that sometimes you see the same artwork on ships, other ships, which leads me to believe it's not one of a kind paintings, but but prints, right? This is Essence. They sell perfume. And it's not a very big store. It's a very smelly store, though. And they also have this stuff. If you need it. So we're back in the piazza. Ocean Terra Seafood Bar is on the other side of that glass. This is Crooners, and it's a, it's a fairly large Crooners. The sign that says Crooners is way over there. But, now this is the port side. And we're going to cross past the Ocean Terrace Seafood Bar. This is where they have the sushi. And a whole roll is only like five bucks. But we get a, a prefix menu with our package. This is Meridian Bay, and I'm going to say they sell jewelry and purses. This is Meridian Bay. And there's actually somebody working down there. This looks like purses and, I don't know, call it costume jewelry? I don't know. Beautiful rings there. This is Facets. And as you might have guessed, they sell jewelry and watches. This is Facets. And they have watches. Hi there. Hi. And uh, some event going on. Um, jewelry. I'm roped off so I can't go over there. But you get the idea. This is the piazza again. There's crooners across the way. There's where we started. Right there. People are waking up. I didn't show you this when I was down in the photo gallery, but there's the pictures of all the officers. So we're heading aft on the starboard side. This is the future cruise sales, future cruise department. And they got two people working here, usually. See, future cruise center. And this brings us back to the midship stairway and elevators. So here's the beginning of Crooners, and here's the actual bar for Crooners. Um, so, this is as far as you can go aft on the port side. And that's true on every princess ship, I believe. Even though Deck 7 is where most everything is, or lots of things, you can... This is the Princess Live Cafe. And it's another place on the ship you can get specialty coffee in the morning. I think they open at 6. So Princess morning. Live Cafe. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> and this is Princess Live. And remember, the Regal Princess is the second Royal Class ship after the Royal Princess. And so for the first three, Royal, Regal, and Majestic, they have windows on Princess Live because it's like a movie studio here. Like a movie studio, right? There's a camera. Camera, camera. Sushi, we have that on uh, Ocean Terrace. Yeah. Okay, of course, Ocean yes, Terrace. And course, that's yeah. also included any of you who have Princess Plus, 
that is one of your casual dining options as well. If you have Princess Premier, you have unlimited casual dining options. So definitely worth checking out Ocean Terrace. Yes. It's Ocean Terrace, Alfredo's, and Vines has a tapas menu. It's really lovely. So big cameras sitting out here. They say don't touch the camera or don't lean on it, right? And so they do a lot of the big game shows here at night. Yeah, this is the we we play the uh, when you right. write that out, you get A, A B, C, D, E. That's called a sharp in musical terms. Okay, the X and O, but we call that F for now. So A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So it's really the alphabet. On the other royal class ships, this is open. They decide to do away with the windows because they don't really use it as a studio. So that was Princess Live. Um, they do trivia in there once in a while, but they hand you a clipboard because uh, there's no tables. Now as we go further aft, on the starboard side, we come to the wheelhouse bar and Crown Grill. So this is the wheelhouse bar area and I guess they're having a little bit of trouble. Um, and this is the Crown Grill. Ray here, it was, it was pretty good. Uh, it's not a very big place and it was packed. I've never seen one as crowded as we did on this ship. This is the kitchen. That's the chef. But Crown Grill costs $39 each. Cover charge, whatever you want to call it. Depending on what you buy or order, it could cost a little bit more. So if you want steak and lobster, it's an extra ten dollars. Guy plays piano here sometimes. Sometimes a violin. He's here. Steel drum. Everything. Guitar. Wheelhouse bar and Crown Grill. Let's keep heading out. That'll bring us to the library. We come to the library. The library. And not only does the library have books, but they also have puzzles, daily puzzles. But they have a lot of books here. And games. And puzzles. And so this is a community puzzle. You come in here and work on this and help them out. And eventually you solve it. They see all the games there? Hope you can see all the games there. And puzzles. So, the library. It's not very big though. So, Crown Grill and Bar. Library right through there. And the Vista Lounge. The Lego Dining Room is downstairs. Let's drop in there real quick. So, this is the only way to get to Allegro is to go aft, back of the ship, take the elevator stairs down. You can't walk to it from deck six. And since the door's closed, I'm not gonna open it. I'll come back here later and get a picture of it. But that's all that's down here, the dining room. I came back up to deck seven. This is the Vista Lounge. And this Vista Lounge is a little bit different than every other Vista Lounge I've seen. In fact, I'm thinking on the ships, they're all unique, rather than all the same. And one main difference on this one is, there is no bar here. There is no bar. And, if you come in here, right, you can't get there. You can go around. And it's a little weird to squeeze through these tables and couches, especially if there's people on them. But it does have a big dance floor, although it's got tables on the dance floor. And it's a big lounge. It goes all the way across. They've been watching the World Series in here. We watched a little bit yesterday. But that's all of Promenade Deck 7. Now we're gonna go all the way up to Lido Deck 16. We are gonna make a couple little stops in between. But uh, decks 8 through 15 are almost exclusively passenger cabins. So there's nothing there. But 
your cabin. So we're on deck seven aft by the Vista Lounge. The Allegra dining room is down there. And we're going to go outside and see how far we can get. I think out here to the right is actually a smoking area. We don't seem to be smoking. So we can go a long way there. Normally I see ashtrays, you know, in the side of a ship. But I don't see any here, so maybe they don't let anybody smoke on the ship. Many other ships, that is a smoking area. Oh, here's the ashtrays. That metal box. So they just wanted to stay back. Now, like I was saying, this is as far as you can get. You could do the same thing on the other side. See, there's somebody standing there. Let's see how far forward we can get. And there is no other place other than, you know, up in deck 16. We have a lot of chairs set out here. Let's take a look at the water. We're somewhere between Antigua and Aruba. So we're like in the middle of the Caribbean Sea. Look at the color of the water. Anyway, that's the door we came out of. And on many ships, this gate is closed the whole cruise. But it's not here. So this is the Crown Grill <laughs> through this window. All right. We're still on deck seven. And I guess you'd call this the promenade or promenade. Here's a way in. I'm going to see how far up here I can get. That's midship, we'll say. You know, near Princess Live. And then I think this is outside Alfredo's. Um, no, it's outside the stores. There's watches in, in there and people shopping and people sitting. Not a smoking area, though. So don't do it. You could probably get in through that door. We're going to go up as far as we can. And this is the end of it. Crew only. Although they haven't latched that very well. But it even says it permanently on the floor. So that's as far as we go. This door should lead us into where the theater is. Let's see. And it did. Let's continue on. Make sure you tune into our cabin tour of the Regal Princess. We have a balcony obstructed. And yes, Daniel bought me this shirt. We made it up to Carib Deck 10 and somebody's hidden a duck here. So I'm gonna leave it there. And we're gonna go up higher. I walked up to Riviera Deck 14, and like I said, 8 through 15 are pretty much just passenger cabins, but on 14, there's a concierge lounge. And you can get to it from either side of the ship. We're on the port side right now. There's also a laundromat on most all of these decks that have cabins. So let's go in a laundromat if it's unlocked. So, so, two washers and two dryers here, two washers and two dryers there, a couple of uh, ironing boards with water. Be careful when you use these irons. I uh, used one once and it left my white shirt all covered with black spots. But there's a timer you turn on and that turns on the iron. Turn it off when you're done. Oh, another ironing board there. They work on tokens. And you can get the tokens right here. So $3 to wash, $3 to dry, and the detergent and fabric softener are $1.50. See that? And this particular laundry room, they don't always, but this one goes through to the starboard side. And should be just around the corner here, a place called the Concierge Lounge. 
and I'm not invited, but they have breakfast in there. Or you can, or snacks, right? This is for the sweet people, I'm assuming. But there's also court concierge lounge, wedding chapel. Now this should not be locked, I know it's Sunday. So I don't wanna interrupt any services. And again, you can go all the way through. And there's the concierge lounge again. Shooting through the window. <laughs> so, that's on deck 14. We're going to go up, so you swipe your uh, medallion there. Let's see. Let's go up to deck 16. Now we are on Lido deck 16, aft. This is the rear or aft elevators and stairs. And this is the beginning or the end of Horizon Court. But first, we're going to walk outside in the back of the ship. And there's an automatic door here, and the floors can be kind of slippery, so be careful. So, this is deck 16. And the sun is beginning to shine today through the dark clouds. This is the Outriggers bar, and I'm thinking he's open, but they don't have coffee here, I don't know. And of course it goes around and goes back inside, but we're going to go back inside the way we came out and walk through the buffet. You can get your own coffee here. Regular coffee, not specialty, and tea and water. So, we were just there, Outrigger Bar, Horizon Terrace. Now the buffet, there's a hand washing station on both sides. So we're on the starboard side, and on the port side, it's identical, I think. But we're set up for breakfast. This is your omelet station, Eggs Benedict on request. Poached eggs on request. But like I say, this is breakfast. It's about 7.15 in the morning now. English bacon. Sausage. Okay. I keep putting little uh, things in there. First, there's this little area. Green cheese, smoked salmon, cheese, bread, a rope. So I guess they're not open over here yet. They will be. This place will be packed in an hour. This is classic French toast. Little sandwiches, donut pancakes, fruit. And we've walked over to the port side now and see how it's exactly the same. Let's go forward. So this is called Horizon Court. Notice the toast is the same. And then you pass into this section called Horizon Bistro. And you'll notice the chairs are different. And they have these tall chairs here. And they have more food opportunities. So this is the pastry shop. And this is where you can get specialty coffee in the morning. Remember, it costs money, though. But see, it's the same sign as in International Cafe. Hi! Hello. So we're crossing from port back to Starbird. This is also where you get the juice bars. Juice drinks. Um, you can see most of them are eight, a couple of them are 12. They're included in the packages. pastry shop but wait there's also this section now it's some of the same food but they've got these drinks here these free so there's a little bit of difference between the two areas not a lot let's head forward 
automatic doors. And this would be the elevators. And they're through automatic doors, glass doors. And leader deck 16, well the tables are <laughs> table. Floor is slippery. And the stairs are right there. But we're gonna explore Lido Deck is behind us. Right here on the starboard side is swirls, soft serve ice cream. And that's what you can get here. Pick one. <laughs> this is free. Remember gelato costs money? This is free. And this is home to the Siwa. There is one on each side. Let's do this one first. And you can see down. And then we've got this all wet. Or the rain got it all wet. And we're mopping it up. But it could be slippery, so be careful. Now, they've named these two pools. I'm going to go across here. The plunge pool, right here, and it looks like at its deepest, it's three feet one inch. <laughs> Let's go up. And they used to do water shows here. You know, this was a fountain, and this is the fountain pool. On the newer ships, this has been replaced with hot tubs and and out, outdoor sofas. But here's the fountain pool. Let's go back here. Swirls ice cream was over there. This is the sea view bar. Of course, they're not open. Hi. And there's another sea walk on this side. Now we're in a balcony obstructed cabin on deck eight. That's our cabin. And this sea walk is on deck 16. But if you look straight down, all the way to the bottom there, that's our cabin. <laughs> anyway, let's continue on forward. So lots of seating out here. This usually never gets filled up, I would yeah, say. Of course, this is where they do movies under the stars, and normally there'd be something on that screen, but I guess this early in the morning, I have it turned off. This is the fountain pool. It says five foot three inches deep. Right here is your free pizza at Prego Pizzeria. And they usually have three different kinds a day. Of course, cheese and pepperoni are two of them every day. And this is the Mermaid's Tail Bar. And this is the Trident Grill. So hamburgers, hot dogs, other kinds of sandwiches, all free, all complimentary, all included for the price of the cruise. So there's the swimming pools. There's the pool area, a couple bars, a couple places to get food. We're going back inside on deck 16 forward. And there are cabins all the rest of the way. We're at the forward stairs and elevators. Here now, port side. See all cabins the rest of the way. Pools, buffet. We're gonna go up to sun deck 17. Now sun deck 17 is split between the forward part of the ship and the aft part. You can walk in between, but there's really nothing there other than hot tubs. Then when we get to 18, it's really separated. And then 19, even more so, right? So we're gonna have to go down and back up each time, down and back up. So let's go up, up to sun. On sun deck 17, and apparently they're having a moisture problem. And um, you can see there's nowhere to go here. The elevators only go up to here. The stairs only go up to here. The only thing you can do is go out here. And this is the retreat. Now it said retreat pool, adults only. I hope everyone realizes this whole area is adults only. And I don't think these cabanas cost any extra. Although I'm gonna check. 
but you can see this is kind of a nice area up here decorated we'll go back that way in a minute but we're on the port side now the front of the ship is right there hot tubs to the sanctuary So that's the sanctuary. That goes all the way around. I have not been on a ship where the sanctuary was behind doors like that. It's normally a gate and it's all open here. So I don't know what the deal is here. But this is the retreat bar. Um, I'm thinking the sanctuary doesn't open until at least 8 a.m. And this is the only way to get in the front of the ship to see out the front. So the sanctuary is $20 for half a day and $40 for all day. And they do have a price for the whole cruise, I imagine, but I don't know what that is. Let's go up. Now on sports deck 18. And here's the terraced lounge chairs. I showed you on the map, maybe you didn't know what that's what I was pointing at. But for movies under the stars, although you're pretty far back here. But they, at night they put cushions on here and they have blankets. I don't know that you need them. It's really hot and humid here. But let's go up one more. So this is called Sky Deck 19. And I don't know if they're going to lay these lounge chairs out here or not. But from here, you can look at the pools and most of the ship, right? that however that's all there is up here lounge chairs it's a sunbathing deck right I'm gonna go around the other side go back down on sports deck 18 there's the retreat area there's the sanctuary in the front of the ship let's go down again now this time I want you to see that it's all terraced, right? With lounge chairs. Uh, remember the elevator stopped on 17 and that was 18 and 19 there. So if you want to get up there, I'm not sure how you do it. Maybe they have a lift that goes up. Super forward. This would be midship. Um, port starboard right left uh, right here they have this thing so if you want to say you were on the love boat this would be the place right giant life ring crossed over to starboard on sun deck 17 and so these chairs would be in the shade almost all day we're on a Caribbean cruise and we left Antigua yesterday, and we are on our way to Aruba and Curaçao, down, down in South America, basically. There are two islands in the Caribbean that are just offshore from uh, Venezuela, I believe. We're going to come to some doors. It's the fitness center. Now, there's going to be a lot of people in here working out, playing on these sort of machines. By the way, there's a scale right there if you need it. And so they play music really loud in here, but they have great machines, free weights. They have classes. They start at 7 a.m., I think. I don't know if these people are taking a class or not, but this place is jumping in the mornings. Although you can see there's room for a lot more. They have a lot of towels and they have disinfecting wipes or whatever you want to call them. Now, if I go right out here, so we're in the very back of the ship now, and this is the aft elevators and stairs, right? And fitness center. See that? And water just dripped on me from somewhere in the ceiling. <laughs> That's not good. And this is the 
aft area. And they have these three or two pools. This is also a smoking area. So, oh, I guess it's one pool with a four foot deep area in the middle. So, it's the uh, terrace pool. And they have little lockers. Of course, they're not really lockers, but little shelves to put your stuff on. And that's all that's back here. Well, except this tower that's down. I guess it's made to come down, but there's the back of the ship. That's our wake. Now over here, of course, used towels, and those are clean towels in there, covered up. Of course, there's a couple more decks upstairs, which we're going to head to in just a moment. This is the kids' play area. So I'm not sure who thought it was a good idea to make the smoking area next to the kids' play area, but it wasn't me. And this is the Platinum Studio. And this is where you come in here and they've got a studio and you pose and take black and white pictures. I've never been in. They advertise it down in the photo gallery, right? Platinum Studio. We take pictures like that. But this is Camp Discovery. So this is the kids area and it's Halloween in a couple days. And the beach house is the teenagers, 13 to 17. And we're not going to go in any of these. They're probably not even open. But we will go through this decoration. So here's Camp Discovery Treehouse, age 3 to 7. So your kid needs to be about 3 before they'll watch them. Uh, they need to be potty trained. So they've got some things in there. Go down to the next one. The lodge, ages 8 to 12. Look, they have ski ball, air hockey, and you know, video games and books and things. And Halloween decorations. And here's the beach house. And I don't think it has a window. Oh, yeah, it does. You just can't see anything. So. There was a count out here of how many kids were on board. This says total of 19. That could be right, I don't know. I don't have kids on board. We went back the way we came in. This is the play area again. You can go down to deck 16. Remember, that's the buffet down there, right here. We're gonna cross back over to starboard. There he is on the other side, on the port side. They don't have one of these staircases over there. I mean, maybe they do, but it's inside the fence, right? Sports deck 18. And I guess those are pickleball courts. Oh, she's got a tennis racket, hitting it against the wall. Uh, they have ping pong tables there. I don't know that they're going to get them out. And a jogging track. So walk, run. It's calling this right here the game lounge. And like I said, they have two ping pong tables here, but they're not set up and I don't see the equipment. And that says area closed, so I'm not sure what the game lounge is. But this is the jogging track or walking track. And here's how to get a mile. Seven laps around equals one mile. Oh, they actually have a diagram. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Not the first time I've ever seen that. But so seven laps equals a mile or 1.6 kilometers, right? And it goes all the way to midship and then all the way aft on the other side. We're going up. I thought I'd walk a little bit of the track. So this is where it turns and goes to the other side. This is the movies under the stars screen from behind. Ever wonder what that looked like in the back? Well, it looks like it's raining, but we're not headed that way. We're going to call this Princess Sports Central. I'm going to actually go against traffic to right here, the lawn court and sunbathing deck, mind you. 
Sky Deck 19. And here's the Princess Greens, a little putting course. And I guess this is the uh, sunbathing area. Another one on the other side, perhaps. They do have shuffleboard painted on. There's the sports court, we'll call it. No access crew only. I mean, there's a stairway leading up, but then there's ropes across right here. That one did not say that. I don't think. But anyway, you can go all the way around here. We're not going to. Shuffleboard. Let me go back under the Princess Greens. And here we are. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes. Seven holes. And I walked right by the equipment and didn't mention it. Didn't point it out. But right there. Putters and a few balls. So, that's the Regal Princess. And that ends our uh, little tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I think it's a very nice ship. Um, it was built in 2014, launched in 2014. So it's about nine years old as, as of right now. And it's 142,000 ton. It holds a little over 3,500 passengers. That's double occupancy, you remember. So if you have two, or three or four in a cabin, that raises it. I think on this cruise, there's about 3,500 people, but it never seems really crowded. I mean, occasionally it does, but, but I haven't had to wait in a long line. I've had to wait in a short line though. <laughs> but anyway, so from the Regal Princess, this is Gareth from Port Monkeys saying I'll see you in the next port. Bye and thanks for watching. This is the concerto dining room at tea time. In case you've never been to tea time on a ship. I mean, only a few people do it, but this area is pretty, pretty packed. Is he leading us over there? Yes, he is. Here's a little tea time sample for you. So they had four or five different kinds of sandwiches and six or eight different sweets, cookies, uh, pie. Of course, lemon in my tea. And it likes hers with milk. She's already eaten her stuff.